and welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays, outside the Pilates studio, where we take our Pilates brain and body out into the real world. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hertz, and today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about oil cleansing. Now, this is a big fad that's starting right now, but people have been doing this for centuries and centuries to help degunk the pores from all of the sebum and the dirt and debris that we encounter during the day. Now, most people go ahead and reach for um, uh, non-oil based cleansers that's been a fad since about mm, the 80s and 90s um, just when all of the fat free fads happened with our food uh, they did the same thing with cosmetics and also uh, with skincare now here's the thing our skin has tons and tons of pores and there is the, an oil called sebum that is supposed to go out and onto the surface of the skin to help keep something called the acid mantle nice and intact it really helps keep a healthy biome for our skin so that we can offset lots of environmental issues, the sun, and it's a protection from all of the pollutants that we come into day to day. Now what happens is we go in with our non-oil based cleansers or maybe some harsher cleansers, especially if people that have um, acne with their skin and they go in with the big guns, lots of acids, lots of stripping, and it destroys the acid mantle. And sometimes it really makes those pores start to work over over time because it senses the surface of the skin doesn't have enough humectant quality from the oil that's produced. So you start to overproduce oil and that's when that acne really starts to break out over and over again. I've been having this issue for a little while so I started doing a little bit of research and remembering some of the things that I learned at medical aesthetic school. So what I brought in is some castor oil and some jojoba oil. Now what I did is just get this nice blue dropper. I did half half castor, half jojoba. Castor and jojoba are really nice because they're easy to get, they're cheap, and what they're gonna do is you put it onto your skin dry, you massage as much as you can, really working the oil into the pores. That helps to release the oil that you naturally are creating. Then from there, what you do is you get a nice, very, very soft face cloth, not a rough one, but almost one that feels almost a little bit fleecy, warm water, Put it on your face you let it steam there for about a minute you start to rub and take that oil off it takes all makeup off all residue sometimes after that i'll do a little bit of toner and a really easy um, a really easy face oil that just helps to kind of regulate the oil production that my face really really needs so i'm not stripping it i'm giving it what it needs i'm clearing the debris without any extra irritation or my pores thinking that they really need to overproduce that's all for today. If you have any questions, um, you can comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or a forum.